In this bulletin, updates given on patent rights on printer cartridges after they had been first sold in the US and Europe. Hello, I'm David Gibbons and here is the news. Printer manufacturers lose their patent rights on cartridges after they have been sold. However, they are only lost in the country where they were first sold. This means that a cartridge sold outside the US still keeps its patent rights and it is illegal for empty cartridges outside of the US to be shipped into the US for repair or remanufacture. Audiences at the RT Imaging Summit in Barcelona, Spain were told the same rules apply in Europe as well. Patent attorney Ed O'Connor is fighting to see that law changed in the United States. third thing they need to understand is that that doctrine, even if it's eliminated in the United States, is still pretty much the law in Europe. And so that in Europe, even if, if a product is first sold, inside the European community, then patent rights are extinguished. If the product is sold outside the European community, then those patent rights are not extinguished in the European community. And so the same problem that people are facing in the United States right now, they can still face that in Europe, even if we're successful in our appeal in the United States. According to O'Connor, cartridge prebate programs which lock out consumers from getting their cartridges remanufactured in the United States are not likely to be supported by the courts. Despite a legal appeal by Lexmark, O'Connor says the courts do not support prebate programs, particularly with regular consumers. Uh, this is the same case that we had, and we asked the court in Cincinnati to throw out the prebate program as a matter of patent law. And the court agreed, and they based it on some Supreme Court decisions, saying that essentially, if you sell, put a product in the stream of commerce, normal stream of commerce, that are sold to the general public, that you can't retain patent rights as against the general public. You can if you sell to an individual on a restricted license, but if you put something in the public domain, you lose your patent rights. And that we were successful in that. That's now going up to the federal circuit. We feel pretty confident that that, will, that decision will be sustained and that will be the end of the prebate program, at least as a matter of patent law. O'Connor received an Industry Legal Defender Award in front of the Barcelona audience for his faithful, determined, focused drive in the courts, including the US Supreme Court, to ensure fairness and justice for the legal repair and refurbishing of used printer cartridges. This is a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, it's a Media Global Industry Awards for the Legal Defender Award to me, Edward F. O'Connor, and uh, essentially rewarding me for my lifetime of, of uh, contributions to uh, this cartridge industry and making sure people have their legal rights. And I've done this uh, at all level, of course, including the United States Supreme Court. And there's a lot going on in Europe this month. I'll bring you more stories from the Barcelona event as well as Paper World in Frankfurt, Germany. For more breaking news, visit irecyclingtimes.com. See you with more breaking news soon. I'm David Gibbons.